your Travis Shaw thought right there. Lefty may be off the bench giving the Yankees a little versatility. Yep. But I want to bring you back, Michael, to our last show. Jack and I got into some of the rule changes from last year. Universal D8s, the double headers, the three batter rule. I wanted to get your thoughts on some of those rule changes. Well, I was really surprised when, when Joe Girardi, the former Yankee manager now at the Phillies, was so harsh against uh, the three batter rule. Uh, and he said that it takes strategy out of the game. I, I couldn't disagree more. It puts strategy, more strategy in. I could sit there and go, oh, I'm going to bring in a lefty to face a lefty. That's not that hard. But if you have to make out a lineup and get a lane where you could trap the other manager knowing that the relief pitcher has to have three batters that he has to face, that strategy, or if you have to bring in that, that pitcher and see exactly where in the lineup it could do the least amount of damage where there are minefields, that strategy. The problem I have with the rule, though, and I, I know that you mentioned this in, in, the, in the previous show, they did it to speed up the game. That's not going to speed up the game. That's not the problem with the game. There's a diametric problem with this game, the way it's presently played, with walks, strikeouts, guys that throw 100 mile an hour, which lead to all of these foul balls. Unless you have a pitch clock in there and change the way the game is played, the game is always going to be a longer game without much pace. But the three batter minimum, I don't think that's a bad one at all. I know that the, the, the length of game went up last year. But the bottom line is if they allowed the mixing and matching, or as they used to call it, creeping LaRusserism, then I think the games would have been even longer. Michael, I'm going to jump in on this three batter rule with one more question. I want to ask you this. Yes, it's strategy, but to me it's, it's handcuffed strategy. You're handcuffing the manager. Can you think of another situation in any sport where when the manager or coach wants to use a certain player at that moment, he's not allowed? You can't use LeBron James right now. You can't use your best shooter off the bench. You have to go with these five guys. That's my problem with it. It's impacting the strategy that the manager might prefer. Well, I think that it's an easier strategy for the manager. I, I don't like the fact that it impacts certain players. One of the guys that's on the non-tender list who's going to be affected by this guy like Alex Claudio, who gets out left-handers and really doesn't get out righties. So if you have a guy like that, see, I don't think it impacted the Yankees at all. Most of the Yankee relievers could get out righties and lefties equally. That's the type of bullpen that you want. But you're right. You are inhibiting some players from being used. But the bottom line is, if this rule was always in place, we wouldn't look at it in such a bit, uh, in such a terrible way. Another rule that I think is ridiculous, and you guys just brought it up, it is almost criminal that the National League has not decided yet, and the Players Association has not decided yet, whether or not there's going to be a DH. I think the universal DH is the way to go. I've always thought that double switches, they make it out to be brain surgery. It's not that big a deal. Pitchers can't hit anymore. That should be the rule, and it should be the rule right now so that the 15 teams in the National League could actually bid on guys that can be DHs. The fact that it's still not decided, it's mind-boggling to me. Hey, Michael, I wanted to ask you about the extra inning rule, starting with a man on second. That was for 2020 only, and as we went into the season, a lot of people were saying, okay, I can deal with it this year, but I don't want to change the game that much having said that it kind of grew on some people's the sort of sort uh, sort of sudden death nature of it what do you think about that rule it grew on me I hated it at the beginning just absolutely hated it uh, uh, the thing that I would change is I would push it back maybe to the 12th inning I don't think that you go right away let the teams play baseball for the 10th and 11th innings and then in order to save people then do it in the 12th inning but there were some games that actually with the runner starting at second there, there were a lot of extra innings. So this is not a sport now where they actually play fundamental baseball, hit the ball to the right side, move them over to third, bunt. So people are still trying to hit home runs. It didn't speed up the game that much and end the game as quickly as you would think. But, again, it grew on me. I don't like it in the 10th inning. I think I would much rather have it pushed to the 12th or the 13th. 